In this video, I'll be solving January 2019, paper 2, question 7. A sequence of figures is made from joining polygons with sides of unit length. The first three figures in the sequence are shown below. Part A. Draw figure 4 of the sequence of two marks. In figure 1 here, there is one polygon. In figure 2, there are two polygons joined together. In figure 3, there are three polygons joined together. So, in figure 4, there will be four polygons joined together. So, I will now draw figure 4. Part B. Study the pattern of numbers in each row of the table below. Each row relates to one of the figures in the sequence of figures on page 23. Some rows have not been included in the table. In this table, they give us an arithmetic sequence with a simple number pattern that can be used to derive a formula for the parameter. Notice here that the first term in the number pattern corresponds to the figure numbers. So, when the figure number is 1, the first term is 1. When the figure number is 2, the first term is 2. When the figure number is 3, the first term is 3. So when the figure number is 6, the first term will be 6. When the figure number is n, the first term will be n. The second term is plus 2 irrespective of the figure number. So this will be plus 2 and this will be plus 2. The final term in the number pattern is given by the figure number multiplied by 2. So 1 multiplied by 2 is 2. 2 multiplied by 2 is 4. 3 multiplied by 2 is 6. 6 multiplied by 2 is 12. n multiplied by 2 is 2n. Now, the parameter is found by finding the sum of the number of outer lines of unit lengths. So, 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5, 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 4 is 8, 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 6 is 11, 6 plus 2 is 8, 8 plus 12 is 20. n plus 2n is 3n, so this becomes 3n plus 2. Now in order to calculate the figure number for part 2 here, I will use the parameter of 65 units with the formula 3n plus 2. So I write here 3n plus 2 is equal to 65. And I will solve this linear equation for n. So this is 3n is equal to 65 minus 2. 3n is equal to 65 minus 2 is 63. Divide by 3, divide by 3. n here is equal to 21. So I'll write here that n is 21. And I will use a generalized number pattern to write the number pattern when n is 21. So the first term is n, so this is 21. The second term is plus 2, so this will be plus 2 here. The final term is plus 2n, so this will be plus 2 multiplied by 21 is 42. Notice that 21 plus 2 is 23, 23 plus 42 is 65. Part C. Show that no figure can have a perimeter of 100 units for two marks. Now, in part B here, I want you to observe that the figures are numbered using natural numbers. So, I could write here that figures is equal to the set of all n such that n is an element of natural numbers. Now, in part B here, we derived here a formula for the parameter, which is 3n plus 2. So I could write here that parameter is equal to 3n plus 2. And they gave us here a parameter of 100 units. So I could write here 100 is equal to 3n plus 2. And I want to solve this linear equation for n. So this is 100 minus 2 is equal to 3n, 98 is equal to 3n, divide by 3, divide by 3. n here is equal to 32.67, and this is the two decimal places. Now, notice that 32.67 is not a natural number, 
So I could write here n is equal to 32.67 is not an element of natural numbers. This implies that n is equal to 32.67 is not an element of the set of figures. So there is no figure with a parameter of 100 units.